All right, so. All right, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna try to use these two heart models and review coronary circulation, um, the coronary vessels that I am going to potentially have on your lab practical. So coming off the aorta, all right, we're gonna have the left coronary and the right coronary. All right, so the right coronary is over here, over in this region, and then the left one is coming, it's technically right behind this pulmonary trunk. All right, now our left coronary is gonna immediately fork right in this region, okay? It's gonna immediately fork into our anterior interventricular artery, and then on the side, it's gonna be the circumflex artery. So on the front, in the sulcus here, you're gonna have the anterior interventricular artery, and then wrapping around and heading towards the posterior portion of the heart is gonna be your circumflex. Your right coronary is gonna run all the way through this sulcus towards the back, and then when we look, I don't have to take this off, all right, and when we look in the right coronary is then gonna dive down into the posterior uh, interventricular sulcus, and at that point we start to call the vessel the posterior interventricular artery. Okay, so those are the three arteries you're expected to know, all right, for the veins, all right, the major vein here in the anterior interventricular sulcus is going to be our great cardiac vein. And this model kind of shows there's two, so the major one would be your great cardiac vein. And this model kind of shows one nice blue vein that would be the great cardiac vein. Okay. The other two veins that we want to learn are the middle cardiac vein in the posterior uh, interventricular sulcus and then the small cardiac vein that's running along with the right coronary um, right here in this coronary sulcus here. All right. So the great cardiac vein as it comes around, the middle cardiac vein and your small cardiac vein are going to come together into this kind of big vessel which we're going to call the coronary sinus. And that's going to be what dumps all the coronary blood back into the right atria. Okay, so those are our vessels. Uh, all of that, the only other one I think we have listed in our lab manual is coming off the, coron the right coronary here, kind of along the, um, the, the margin where you transition from anterior to posterior is our marginal artery. And so that one's right down in here. Okay, so those are the vessels.